Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stamping, bringing you another technique that I've discovered. It's basically a, kind of a cheap watercolouring effect. So I've got the Shimmer uh, Whisper White Shimmer cardstock here, and I've embossed this image with gold embossing powder. And the image comes from Birthday Blooms, which is a really beautiful stamp set. And I've got the in colours for 2015 to 2017 here with me. Okay, so I'm basically going to just colour in this image and I'm not going to be super careful about what I'm doing here um, because you, don't, you just don't have to be. And you'll understand why in a second. So while I'm colouring this in, I just want to um, let you know that if you love the in colours for 2014-2016, you know the ones with Blackberry Bliss and... Um, Oh, the name escapes me now. <laughs> I do know the names of the colours, I do really. Oh, Lost Lagoon, there we go. And um, Mossy Meadow and Tangelo Twist and all those. Um, be aware that they are going to be retiring very soon. Well, when I say very soon, it's in June. But the retirement list comes out in May and... Once that retirement list comes out, anybody who's thinking about getting the um, reinkers tend to buy them like on the 1st of May and they sell out really quick. So if you've got the ink pads or you've been thinking about getting the ink pads, then now is the time to get them because they do go out of stock very, very quickly as soon as that retirement list comes out. So um, just to let you know that that is what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not being super duper careful. I am colouring in, but um, I'm not too worried if I go out the lines a little bit. I'm just kind of going for it. So this is quite good if you're wanting to do multiple cards of this effect because you don't have to be super duper careful. And I have found, I have tried this technique a couple of times with other colours. And the more, the darker the colour, the more saturated the colour, then, to be honest, you don't have to colour in as much. Okay, so that's it for the colouring. So the next stage is actually actually to use my spritzer, Stampin' Spritzer, which is here, ready, with some water in it. And I'm just protecting my work surface with a plastic bag. So all you do then is spray some of the water on and let the ink kind of move around pull up do whatever it wants to do um, and then kind of pick it up and give it a shake and and see what happens I'm just moving some of that water over there because it didn't reach it but um, yeah have a bit of a play with it and you end up with the kind of colors merging a little bit and running around and you know a lighter version of that color is now sort of reach come out of that flower and is pooling around here so at this stage don't be tempted to blot um, I did this class last week and um, we had some tissue and we were blotting it and we realized that actually the color kind of you, you lose the saturation of it so it's worth just leaving it at this stage uh, if, if you're really impatient and you want to get the heat tool on it that heat gun on it then that's fine but I would actually suggest that you just leave it uh, overnight or uh, for a few hours um, if you want to try leaving it on a something hot like a radiator then, then that's up to you but um, I actually quite like the effect of the the color kind of running around and doing its own thing okay so um, I have got one here that I had a little play with earlier and it is starting to dry um, I didn't color it in as much as that one so the color it's not as saturated but um, as you can see it's starting to dry quite nicely okay so that's doing it with the gold embossing powder now I have got here an image that I've stamped with the black archival ink and I want to have a go just to see what this looks like if I do exactly the same technique but with the black archival ink because I know that not all of you have the embossing powders and have the gun and so on so I just wanted to see what that this would kind of look like you know I know the color is going to run a little bit more 
but um, yeah, I just want to see what would happen, okay? Because you, know, you never know, it might create another cool effect. So, just getting some of the green into the leaves. And as you can tell, I'm not being careful at all. I'm just kind of going for it. Let's get a little bit of the stems there. Okay, oh, forgot that one. I'll just pop a little bit of the um, tip top taupe in here as well into some of the, the petals to give it a little bit more tone and variation. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my plastic bag back in. I might just dry off a little bit of this excess liquid. Pop it on there. Okay, I've really got no idea what's going to happen now, so you're as much going to experience the surprise of this as I am. Okay, so I'm really kind of getting lots of water on there. Letting it just go in there and... Okay, there we go. Oh, I actually quite like that effect, it's okay. Moving the water around a little bit. Giving a bit of a tap. Oops. There we go. And again, it's just like a bit of a watery kind of, yeah toned down version of it being coloured in but with lots of lovely kind of yeah different yeah it's what it is okay so I'm going to set these aside to dry overnight and then I'll be back and to finish off the card so while you're letting your um, watercolour dry you can be working on the base of your card so I have here some of the other uh, stamps from that stamp set uh, birthday blooms and I'm just going to stamp so this is uh, oh, sorry, I've forgotten the name. Mint Macaron. Um, and I've got the Mint Macaron ink pad here. And I'm just going to take some of these images and just stamp kind of around the edge of it because we're going to be sticking the watercolour in the middle. So I'm just going to get a few of the images on here. Kind of stamp quite randomly and keep twisting the stamp around so that you don't get them all facing in the same direction. Then take some little stamps just to fill in different areas. And then we've got this really sweet little kind of um, array of dots here that is great for filling in various spaces. So, yeah, just get those on. So I've already done uh, another one similar to this. I'm going to bring... Here, I'm ready to stick my watercolours on. So these have dried. So I've got um, the one that I, the two that I did with you, and then one that I did earlier. And the reason why I, uh, I did, I started to actually film this one, and I wasn't so happy with the results. But as it's dried, I actually don't mind it at all. So um, it's worth kind of experimenting with different amounts of colouring in and different amounts of spritzing because and then letting them dry and then seeing how they work out because they all kind of tend to dry differently. Well, I, I mean, I love the results. I really, I really like that effect. So I think I'll use two of the one, two of the different colour schemes just to show you how they work on the mint macaron. So I'm just going to kind of cheat really and partially use some of this gorgeous glitter uh, sticky tape to uh, adhere my um, piece to the cardstock. Sorry, I was looking for my um, fast fuse then. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of fast fuse on the back here just to help it along. And then use the gold tape as a little bit of an accent. So it's going to look as if the gold tape is actually holding it down, but the fast fuse is actually doing a good job of it itself. And I think sticking, having these sort of tape, taped areas kind of gives the card a very sort of relaxed feel. Um, it, it kind of stops it looking too formal. I'm going to keep those all in the same direction. Actually, I don't want it on the flower. I'm just going to move that over a little bit. 
Let me move this up a little bit higher. There we go. And if you don't like the kind of relaxed feel of that, that's fine. Just uh, stick it straight on or maybe mat it with another colour. I just fancied using this gold tape because it was just so gorgeous. Um, and this time I'm going to stick it on as if it's more like a photo corner. So a little bit of fast fuse on there just to help it along. And stick these over the corners. They're almost like very glitzy plasters really. I think my daughter would love it if plasters were made of this tape. Okay, so there we go, a really simple watercolour technique using the pens, the spritzer, and if you don't have um, a heat tool to be able to do the gold embossing, it works perfectly fine using the archival black ink pad as you can see. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, please go ahead and look at artfulstampin.co.uk. Click on the link. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be kept up to date with my latest um, makes. And uh, thanks for joining me. And do drop me a line if you've been inspired and you like what you see. Okay, take care and bye-bye for now.